hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today the day that I'm filming this is my 19th birthday Woohoo! I'm sorry I just did that but anyways number one don't compare yourself to people on social media because social media is just the highlights of our lives it's not actually what's going on with us i mean for the most part maybe twitter is but instagram and all of those things are not actually what's going on inside of us it's just the highlights the things that we want people to see so for me i tend to compare myself to people on social media when I really don't have to because I don't know what they're going through on the inside. Just don't do that. Number two, self-care is essential. I didn't realize how essential it is, but I was really running myself dry before I went on my trip, just going, going, going all the time, and I didn't have any space for self-care. That is very important and we all need to make sure that we do that. Number three, quality over quantity. This is so true, especially what I learned with friends. And in high school, I just had a lot of friends, but they weren't very good friends. But now God has blessed me with like four or five really, really good friends. And I'm so thankful for them. And I just really learned that it's not about how many friends you have, but it's about the people that actually care about you. Number four, take some time to hang out with your family. I am growing out of my <laughs> teenager phase where it's all about just the world that I'm living in and I'm realizing that my brothers are growing up and they're ginormous and I really want to hang out with them and make sure I spend time with them while we're still living in the same house. So. That is something I definitely am going to be doing and being more intentional about because it's so important. Number five, it is worth your time to invest in people that are younger than you. This is something that I've become very passionate about, something I believe we all should be doing. I know I'm still young, I'm still just 19, but I think this is how the world goes round when we invest in people when we encourage them when we give them guidance because being a kid and being a teenager can be hard and it's the most defining years of our lives and if we don't have guidance if we don't have wisdom from someone that's older than us then we're left to make a lot of stupid mistakes so I definitely think this is something that we all should be doing. Number six, you have to identify the lies that you are believing and fight them with the truth. This is something that my dad, the pastor, has been talking about at our church for a couple months now, I think. We all have our stinking thinking, what he calls it. We all have things that we believe about ourselves that aren't true. And I've been identifying some of those things in my own life this year and really just using the word and the Bible and using friends to help me combat those lies and we all have to do it. It's so important that we don't continue to live our lives based off of a lie. That is something I've definitely been learning to invest my time into as well. Number seven, relationships take work and I already knew this but I definitely have learned about it more. It's one of those things that you don't really know until you get into it, but it's definitely worth the work. It's worth the effort. I'm very blessed with an amazing boyfriend though, so. Number eight, you have to learn who God is before you can learn who you are. The reason why we have to do this is because we are wanting to become Christ-like. We want to be more like Jesus. We're Christians. We have to learn who Christ is so that we can learn who he's called us to be. That he's called us to be a servant like he has. He's called us to heal people like he has. He's called us to love people like he has. All those things we have to learn who Christ is, who God is, so that we can know the characteristics and things that we need to have in our own lives. Number nine, it's okay to process your feelings and express them slowly. That's something that I have a very hard time doing because I'm not very good at identifying my feelings. Everyone around me seems to be great at it, but it takes me a while to identify how I feel about a situation and 
once I do know how I feel about a situation, it's hard for me to express that. So that is something I've learned about myself and something that I learned to accept about myself and really just try to work on, especially the expressing my feelings part because I'm not very good at that either, but it's, it's something that I'm working through. Number 10, do things that make your heart happy. This kind of goes along with the self-care thing that I was talking about, but if you're doing things that you don't want to do, don't do them. <laughs> I mean, obviously if they're a responsibility of yours, don't be irresponsible, but if it's like a life decision, make sure you do what brings you joy. Number 11, YouTube is an amazing outlet and I made YouTube when I was in a very sad place. I don't want to say depressed because I don't really think I was depressed. I feel like that's a very severe case, but I was very, very sad and I really just wanted something that I could look forward to and I made a YouTube channel and it's definitely been that for me and now I just love getting to talk to you guys, talk to you guys about what Jesus is teaching me, just things on my heart, my favorite things. I love getting the opportunity to talk to you about that because people don't really take the time to listen to how you actually feel about things. So I love YouTube because you click on this video so you can know how I feel about something. So I really thank you guys to my 180 I think now subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and watching my channel. Number 12, we make time for things that are a priority to us. If I have a priority to make YouTube videos, I'm going to figure out how to do it despite my two jobs in school. I'm going to figure out how to make YouTube videos. Same with if I want to work out or if I want to spend time with Jesus, all these things. I have to make sure they're a priority to me. The same goes for you guys. If school is not your priority, then you're not going to make time for it and you're not going to try to do well. So if you need to reevaluate your priorities, make sure you do that. Number 13, your life can look like how you want it to look like. Obviously, you do need Jesus' guidance and all of those things, but there's not a specific mold that our lives have to fit into. Jesus is creative. He has no limitations on what our lives can look like. So that is super awesome. And we all can have different ways of living our lives. That is something I definitely have been learning. Number 14, take every opportunity to travel. I got the privilege in my 18 years of life to go to three continents all in my 18th year. And it was so amazing. If you have that opportunity, please take it. It's so worth it seeing the world and other people and other cultures. It's super fun. Number 15, be faithful in what God has asked you to do. And man, has the Lord been teaching me this right now. I tend to get frustrated when other people don't have the same drive or the same motivations and intentions as I do. That's really not their fault. I have been called to work with youth. I've been called to lead worship, all of those things. And some other people aren't called that way, so they don't have the same desire that I do. And God didn't ask me to be angry at them for not having that desire. God has called me to be faithful in what he's asked me to do and to do it well. That is probably the biggest lesson out of all of these. Number 16, reading is awesome. I kind of already knew this, but I've really been reading like every day now and it is definitely something that has benefited my personal life. I love to write, I love to read, I love words and Reading every day has been something really cool. I've been reading The Maze Runner, as you know, from my favorites videos. Every time I read a chapter, I like get lost in the book for a second and I don't think about anything going on around me and that's why I think we all should take some time to read. And read real books. Don't read Kindles and stuff. I hate those. Number 17. I love school and I'm not ashamed of loving school. I really love going to college. I love taking notes. I love homework assignments and having things to do. I just love learning, especially where I'm going to college. I'm learning so much about ministry 
and it just makes me so excited to do ministry. Number 18, God is pleased with me. I'm someone that is, like I said earlier, constantly working, 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 and doing to-do lists and all these things. I tend to feel like that people and God only appreciate me and love me and value me because of what I do. And that is obviously not true. <laughs> it's something that I'm reminding myself all the time that God is pleased with me. Even when I just spend 10 minutes a day in his presence, he's pleased that I even want to spend time with him. He's pleased that I spend time with youth students every Wednesday. And this is something that I've really been learning, especially recently, that God is pleased with me. The last one, number nine teen slow down and be still this goes along with kind of the self-care that i was talking about earlier it is required for our souls to be still to slow down to not have to be constantly thinking and constantly doing but it's how god designed us we need that time i've definitely been doing that i've been taking some time to even just sit in nature to meditate all of these things because it takes care of my soul and it helps me identify my feelings like I was talking about earlier as well. So that is all the life lessons that I learned. I hope maybe some of my life lessons can help you guys too because I've definitely learned a lot in my 18th year of life and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below and also comment any video requests that you have for me because I'd love to do those for you. Even if you want me to elaborate on one of the tips and one of the lessons I was talking about, I can do that for you. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye guys!